Hello, my name is Starthinker, and this is another Knee Jerk Reaction video review. This is where I watch a movie, and I immediately review it before I have a chance to process it or think about it or look up trivia. Um, <clears throat> I always look up trivia. If you've never seen one of my uh, video reviews before, I do talk about the movie, so there, there may be spoilers that spill out. Uh, I try not to, but... There are some plot points that if I need to discuss it, it's probably going to spoil the movie for you. But um, that's it. Uh, of course, we're all at home dealing with uh, quarantine, except I'm not dealing with quarantine because I still have to go to work every day. Um, but still, I, I watched a bunch of movies. And uh, this last movie I watched, I thought, you know what, I'm going to do a movie review on it. So this is uh, also, you'll notice I'm yellow. And that's because, <laughs> let me try something here. Oh, that makes it better. Wow. So I have new glasses. And the problem with my overhead lights is they were shining in my glasses and they were making prisms all over my face. And I still can see some of that going on. <clears throat> um, they're brand new, so I don't know if that'll go away. You can see the all the lights reflecting in me. Um, but anyway, I just watched something called The Platform. Um, I was looking for something science fiction-y, something. This was uh, described as, I think, mind-bending. Um, and it was kind of what I expected it to be. If you've never, if you've seen um, The Cube, and I think there's three of them now, The Cubes, um, <clears throat> it's kind of what the platform is like. People, except this explained it a little bit, uh, some people were put into the platform because they were criminals, some volunteered. Uh, it's just really bizarre. They were offered rewards if they volunteer. Um, I think one guy said he was going to be in for a year, one guy for six months. Um, but what happens is they're put on a platform with one other person uh, a month at a time. And once a month, this gas comes through and they all pass out and they all wake up on different levels. Now, the thing about the levels is they do have a sink and a toilet. Uh, with running water <clears throat> but food only comes down once a day on this floating platform and they do show that this food is like the best of the best it's um they show the chefs making it and they show how fine the chefs work on it and they're the finest chefs in the world apparently but yeah they do show the chefs making the food and it's the best food in the world and they load this platform up and, and they even take uh before people go in, like, you know, they showed the interview process for the main character. And, and uh, you know, it turns out that they'll find what your favorite food is and they'll also put it on the platform. So there's like this giant feast on this platform. But it slowly lowers itself through. So if you're on level one, uh, you get to feast. And if you're on level two, you get to feast again. By the time it starts to get to level 10, level 30, level 40... It's been picked through and and like this animal animalistic urge takes over. People are turning on each other because there's not much food left. There's just bones and dishes and people are licking the dishes. Um, <clears throat> by the time it gets down to lower levels, like there's nothing left. There's just broken glass and um, people are vindictive. They, uh, they attack it. They pee on it and they spit on it because it's just the hierarchy. The people above you are better and the people below you are worse. Even though the next month you might be higher up. You might be lower down. Um, and this is where they kind of club you over the head with social commentary because it's very much an allegory for the rich get rich and the poor get nothing. And uh, they not only slam you over the head with this but they basically have the characters talk about that this is what it is <laughs> and um it's well i know cube three kind of explained what the cube was about or was a cube two one of the cubes but um this actually starts out showing like an interview process showing people coming in showing the chefs so you kind of know what it's about but you don't really know why it's there or where this came about but um the movie starts out like at level, what was it, 42? 
No, I was in the 40s, I think, or the 30s. And so the food coming through, this guy's waking up for the first time, <clears throat> meeting his roommate. Everybody coming in gets to bring one object. And um, he chose the book Don Quixote. His thought process was, you know, if he's locked in isolation for six months and he can read Don Quixote, he can formulate his thoughts for his own book and all this stuff. Only he didn't realize <laughs> what was going on inside. His roommate chose a knife, so he's got this really sharp knife that can cut through bricks and um, by the commercials that they show. But, uh, yeah, so you can imagine how, you know, first he sees the food, you know, because they're on level 30, it's all been picked through, and this guy's, like, picking up bones and, and chewing what's left on the bones and eating what's left on the plates. And, of course, the new guy's all grossed out, and he's like, well, oh, this is not what I expected. And the other guy's trying to teach him. He's like, you better learn to eat when you can because this is it. You get one chance a day. Um, and then they demonstrate that, like, if you keep food, if you take food and keep it on you, your level will either freeze or roast, and it kills everybody in the level. So you can't keep food with you because he was going to keep an apple, and then, like, until he threw the apple down because by then it had gone down a level, <clears throat> you know, then the heat turned off. and um, So you learn pretty quick that you can't keep food with you. Um, and these guys, like, at first, you know, the guy that's been there for months and months is trying to explain to this other guy, like, chances are you're not going to survive this, and other people don't survive this. And, um, you know, bodies fall from above from people committing suicide or getting murdered, however you look at it. Um, but, yeah, it's just like <clears throat> this total dystopian, and they just club you in the face that, yeah, the people above get everything, and the people down below get nothing. Um he was told that the levels only go down to 150, but one day he wakes up on level 202. Uh, they get down to a level, I can't remember what it was. It was, and I missed some of the levels, so I, I wasn't sure what level they were on. But, you know, he goes all the way down to where it's cannibalistic. You know, people are eating each other. And because once the platform gets down to that level, there's like literally no food left. Um, he, the highest level he got on was level seven, and of course the foods come down. He's like, if we could just portion, if we just eat what we need, you know, maybe the food will get all the way down to the bottom, and you know that's where the social commentary gets clubbed over your head. Um, but yeah, there's twists and turns. There's characters. Um, uh, this isn't a show you'd want to watch with your kids. <laughs> I don't know if you'd even want to watch it with a date. I watched it because I'm sitting here and when I first turned it on there was subtitles for some reason I'm not sure why Netflix turned on subtitles but they did not match the dialogue even though they're speaking in English the subtitles were like saying something completely different in English and I that was really distracting so I shut the subtitles off I don't know if this it didn't look like it was dubbed from another language but I don't know the subtitles didn't match anything so um, watch it in English without subtitles but yeah, it's just, there are some twists and turns, there are some, it's very gory, uh, it's, you're getting clubbed over the head with social commentary, uh, it kind of ends weird, um, again, it ends on social commentary, <laughs> and, uh, that's when they really, they, they use an iron mallet to clump you over the head with it. So would I watch it? Uh, would I recommend it? Uh, well, I like my criteria is, if you've seen my other reviews, I know it's been a while since I've done it, but my criteria is, was I entertained? And I was. I, I was. It was interesting seeing how, and this is the kind of stories I write, because I like to write short stories, is like, what would a normal person do in this survival situation? And, you know, they early on say these are the rules of the survival and you know the survival situation and you know these are the people in the survival situation and it's like it's one of those movies where you're just like well there's they introduce these characters who's going to live who's going to die how's it going to end you know and you kind of you know it's you kind of get emotionally involved because when they wake up on the lower levels it's like it's like, um, my cat's trying to get up here. <laughs> it's like, um, 
you just feel that jerk, like, oh my God, you know, I woke up at a level where no food is going to get to. How am I going to survive 30 days? And, you know, it's, it's this guy trying to tell himself that I will not turn into these other people. And, uh, he ends up turning into these other, you know, it's just like, what, how far would you go and what would you do? And I don't know. And, and like I said, it's very, very much a social commentary about <clears throat> all the people, you know, like a trickle down theory, but the trickle down theory doesn't quite work because everyone is very selfish. And if everyone's selfish, then, you know, no system is going to work. <clears throat> and that's what they have to overcome. And, um, there's some twists, there's some things at the end, you know, because when you see a, a movie advertised like this, you're like, what possible storyline can you get about people living on a level and getting food once a day? But they do, they, they do make a storyline out of it. It does progress, the characters progress. Um, but like I said, it's kind of gory. Oh, there's some sexual situations. Um, so be aware of that. And uh, it's violent in times. But yeah, I, I watched it and I would recommend it. I wouldn't give it like 100% my greatest movie. You know, it's not something I'm going to watch again. It's not something that I think, <clears throat> yeah, I'm not going to call it my favorite movie. But it was entertaining. It was a, a good way to pass the time. <clears throat> it's kind of a movie you have to pay attention to if you're... You know, that's one of my criteria. Sometimes you put a movie on because you're doing the dishes or you're cleaning the house and you just want some noise in the background. If you do that, you're going to miss points because there's things that are just visual on the screen. So if you're looking away, you're not going to catch that. You're not going to catch what level they were on because they sometimes they don't say what level they're on, but you see the number on the wall. Um, so, yeah, I would I would recommend it if you're into that kind of movies. Uh, there are some movies I would recommend it. Like, I don't care what kind of genre you're into um i would recommend certain movies uh but this movie i wouldn't recommend it if you like the cube if you watch the cube and liked it um it's a it's probably for you it's probably the kind of movie you like if you're into dystopian futures if you're into just cerebral that's a good word it's a cerebral movie um but anyway I'm going to give it like two thumbs up out of four, maybe half away, 50% out of a hundred. I don't really have a rating scale, so I always make something up. So this is 50 levels out of a hundred, but yeah. Uh, don't I see. Is there anything else I can say? about? I didn't recognize any of the characters. I mean, any of the actors, so I don't know. I can't say anything about the actors themselves, but it, it was well acted. At no time did I think I'm watching actors. I was I was generally entertained, uh, but uh, I'm kind of rambling on now. But yeah, social commentary, very gory, but a good storyline. It moved along. It kept my interest. That's a, that's an important point too. It really kept my interest to the end. And uh, so, if you're into that kind of movie, I'd recommend it. It's called The Platform. I watched it on Netflix, and. Uh, well, I think a lot of people doesn't, don't have very much else to do. So <laughs> it's a good movie to watch uh, when you're relaxing late at night. So take care. My name is Starthinker. Uh, don't forget to go on Amazon and buy all my books twice.